Back to the top for Watkins. McNicholas tries to stay with her. Padilla in the corner. She buries the triple. You're actually, you're absolutely right that you avoid the easy basket for Rhea Marshall. It certainly feels like a win for Cal Poly. Forbes hits her second. Starting to create some daylight. This particular matchup, that's a, a, that's a look that they want to generate for her. Watkins left alone, triple on the way, bullseye for Juju Watkins. Trojans have been stout defensively, Borland finds a lane and then has it blocked from over the top, Rhea Marshall. It's kind of hard to blame Cal Poly shooting two of nine from the field, only, only one three attack. Poly this quarter, next one puts USC in the bonus. Big B, down the baseline, tough finish at the rim. From the three-point line, just penetrating in the defense. and Watkins with her third assist of the game. She has eight points, three rebounds, three assists, and another steal. Off and running. This one she takes herself. Two teams that are not all that far apart. Marshall on the block. Goes to work with the spin and the bucket. And touch at the hoop. That's just so impressive. So here comes USC. Watkins, given space, she takes it inside, steps back from the line, gets it, hoop and the harm. She just rises up. She doesn't let any contact or any, and that's really what makes her so valuable. Five seconds left for Cal Poly in the third quarter. Forbes takes it away with one, puts it up at the buzzer. She's got it! Forbes! And watch it one more time. Heating up from long range. And able to get Cal Poly on the board in this fourth quarter. Watkins knifes into the lane. The reverse. Five points away from breaking the U.S. USD playing so quickly. Skip pass to Forbes in the corner. She steps into it. She's red hot. The USC freshman season 30 point record. And we're and so. She has the steal. Watkins straight to the rim. 30 points again. On Saturday against Fresno State, Samuels able to poke it away. Onu comes up with it. Straight to the rim and one. A chance to crack double figures.